Good day everyone, especially to you ma'am. So for today, we are going to discuss our outline proposal which is entitled In the Decency of Streetlights and Crime Occurrences in Davao City. First, let us discuss the background of the study. So the inadequacy of street lights and crime occurrences in Davao City. So we will focus on the specific areas here in Davao City where we have inadequate number of street lights and if there is a um, higher rate of crime in that specific area. Then the next one, the significance of street lights is reducing crime rate in Davao City. So we're going to identify that there is a significant like where they can reduce really the crime process or rate built in Davao City. And that leads to know if there is a relationship on an adequate number of big lights and crime process. So we are going to identify that there is a relationship between the two variables. And these are the following that will benefit from our study. The first one is the people of the Davao City and they can use it for knowing the importance of adequate number of street lights in Davao City. The next one is the local government units wherein they can propose in the government for installing adequate number of street lights, especially those places here in Davao City where crime occurrences are likely to happen, like um, dark places or unrich unrich light of street lights and the next one is the Davao City Police Officer wherein they were be more easier for them to capture offenders or criminals since through the use of um, street lights then lastly is the future researchers the general problem of this research is the study aims to know the importance of adequate number of street lights and if there is a relationship to it in crime occurrences or in Davao City wherein we can identify and solve this through the continuation of this research. Next is the objectives of the study. The study aims to establish the relationship between inadequate street lights and crime occurrences in Davao City and to determine if there is a relationship between street lights and crime occurrences or accidents. Well, the findings of this study will be beneficial especially in installing street lights in dark places in Davao City that crime is likely to happen. Next one is the specific questions or the statement of the problem. Well, the main focus of this study is to determine the relationship between the inadequacy of street lights and crime occurrences and to determine the value of adequate number of street lights in Davao City. Now, these are the specific questions that we're going to answer in the continuation of this research. The first one, what are the profiles of the participants in terms of their gender and their age? Number two is the what are the plans and recommendations to install adequate number of street lights in Davao City. Number three is in what are the advantages of disadvantages of adequate number of street lights. And lastly, if there is a significant relationship between inadequate number of street lights and crime occurrences in Davao City. Next is the scope and limitations. Well, the participants of the study will be the people of Davao City which is comprised with three district and which is involvement of the surveys or the survey questionnaires which is we are going to use in our research. Well, the study is designed to gain knowledge on the usage of street lights and adequate number to reduce crime occurrences here in Davao City which is specifically uh, focuses on the specific areas where at which lighting of the street lights and that's it. Next we have the design and procedure which is all about the the study as we are using the descriptive and the correlational research method that we are going to apply in our research since it is descriptive since it describes which our two variables wherein we are going to describe this street 
light and the climate occurrences in Davao City, as well as the correlational research methods wherein we are going to identify the significant relationship between the climate occurrences and the street lights in Davao City. Okay, let's proceed to the respondents. So the respondents of the study are the people live in Davao City, which comprises with three districts and 182 barangays. Then the researchers will choose the respondents through cluster sampling and since the researchers will divide the entire populations of Davao City into sections, so that's our respondents with specifically um, use of the cluster sampling. Another one is the materials and the instrument. So the materials and instruments that the research utilized is a modified survey questionnaire from Peña Garcia et al. 2015. Then this questionnaire was divided into two parts. The first one is a demographic profile of the respondents. The next one is the questions regarding the inadequacy of street lights and the crime occurrences here in Davao City. And these are the references of our outline proposal. All right, so question number one, in fewer sentences, are you able to tell us what your study is all about? So basically our study is comprises with the two variables, the street lights and the crime occurrences. So we have to study on the adequate number of street lights in Davao City if it has an effect or a relationship between the crime occurrences here in Davao City, especially to those areas where in um, dark places or unrich lighting of street lights or lampposts in Davao City will crime rate are high or low. So question number two, what is the significance of the study? So our research basically um, significance in the way that it can help to establish a fact, the importance of um, having street lights or adequate street lights here in Davao City, which can help to redu reduce crime rates or crime occurrences, especially in those dark areas or unrich lighting of street lights here in Davao City, that crime is more likely to happen. And then it can benefit from the people living in Dav Davao City, from the local government units, from Davao City police officers and for the future researchers. So question number three, what is the scope of the study? So our research basically revolves only in two variables, the inadequate street lights and crime occurrences. So um, our research, if we are going to continue this one, then we are um, only focuses on the three districts here in Davao City, where in some specific areas are having problem in inadequate number of street lights, especially those areas who are crimes are more likely to happen. So question number four, what are your research questions? So basically we have four research questions that will answer the following question. The first one is the what are the profiles of the participants in terms of their gender? and their age. The next one is what are the plans and recommendations in install, installing adequate number of street lights in Davao City. Number three is what are the advantages of having adequate number of street lights. And number four is there is significant relationship between inadequate street lights and crime occurrences in Davao City. So the question number five, what's your measurement instrument? So we are using the cluster sampling since our um, scope of the study is the Davao City which is comprises of three districts so it would be harder for us to um, allocate our questionnaires so we are going to have the cluster sampling to divide this districts into sections and that is our presentation all about and thank you so much for listening and God bless you all.